In this video, I will discuss some common errors and warnings faced during Abacus simulation and how to go about handling those. I will discuss ways to diagnose the errors, some errors related to step size, like those throws the error message saying too many increments needed to complete the step or time increment required is less than the minimum specified. I will also look into another step size related error that says too many attempts made for this increment and uh, what you can do to resolve this. Finally, I will comment on some common warning messages. The first thing you do after an abacus job is aborted is to check the error message and warning message. This job heal 48 2D has aborted. We can immediately see several error in the message here. The first error saying time increment required is less than the minimum specified. So this is the main error why this job has been aborted. And uh, there are supplementary imp information saying the analysis has been terminated due to the previous error and there are even a further error message uh, maybe it doesn't say too much but uh, here you would get the preliminary or most important error messages to know the cause for uh, aborting this particular job then if you right click on that aborted job and uh, monitor then it will give you a pop-up and uh, there you will see that uh, there are several tabs. One of them is error. It gives the same error message or all the error message that has been printed here. At the same time, it will additionally give you all the warning messages. For example, we read one warning message that says the strain increment has exited 50 times the strain to cause the first yield at uh, 998 points. The outputs from this job has been saved in this folder. So here you will find some files by the same name as the job name so the job name was uh, hill 48 underscore 2d so in this folder you will find a dot msg or message file also you will find a dot dat file by the same name as the job so this file and uh, this file will also contain important information about the cause of the error let's open this dot msg file and uh, if you go towards the end of this file you will find that this error message is also printed here with some additional information that the solution appears to be diverging but uh, why these errors are occurring those we will see soon but uh, for now these are the ways that you can diagnose the reason for the error or why the job has been aborted in addition to .msg and .dat file, you can also look into .stf file if really needed. Let's now address this step related error saying too many increments needed to complete the step. You specify the maximum number of increments in a step. So initial step is by default. The step one is our solution step. Click there, then go to incrementation tab. And here you can find maximum number of incrementation. By default, it is 100. Sometimes your solution could be highly nonlinear and the number of incrementation that's needed to complete the job is uh, commonly can get higher than 100. And if it goes beyond 100, you will get the error. Too many increments needed to complete the step. So to make sure that you never get this uh, error put several zero right after that so i have uh, made the maximum number of increments to be 10000 so i can be quite sure that uh, the increment number will not cross this number and uh, we will uh, never get this error related to maximum number of increments next error is time increment required is less than the minimum specified you will specify the minimum time increment here so by default it would be 1 e to the power 5 so to be safe you can make it 1 e to the power minus 15 so if you go to basic if your time period is one and uh, the unit is second then uh, this means that uh, for a particular increment the minimum could be up to one e to the power minus 15 second so this is useful where you have very harsh non-linearity and the simulation needs very small increment to overcome or solve around that non-linear region so i would say the best practice in uh, step increment is to make the maximum number of increment around 10,000 and uh, make the minimum increment size 1 e to the power.
power minus 15. So given that everything else is uh, okay with your model, you will never get this uh, two error message if you fix the incrementation accordingly. Now let's look at this error, too many attempts made for this increment. If we look at that particular example, that there was an error and that error happened when increment number 11 the solver made one two three four up to five attempts so after five attempts the solver throws an error if we look at the particular job that is aborted and uh, we can go to monitor here we can see for increment number 38 the first attempt was made and the time increment was 1 e to the power minus 6 and then it did not converge so it made a second attempt and uh, that time the time increment was reduced by four times so it was 1 e to the power minus 6 and it becomes 2.5 e to the power minus 7 so the solver tries to reduce the time increment and to see if it can reach any solution so this is our first cut back from uh, first attempt to second attempt and then another cutback was used in this uh, increment number 38 from second to third attempt and again in this time for the third attempt the time increment was reduced by four times again so during these uh, two cutbacks the time increment for increment number 38 has been reduced from 1 e to the power minus 6 up to 6.2 e to the power minus 8 so that is about 16 times and uh, by reducing it to 16 times the solver could overcome the non-linearity that was occurring at increment number 38 so by default the number of attempts are five so uh, the solver will try to cut back up to five times and each time reducing the increment size by about uh, four times just using five cutback attempts might not be sufficient to overcome some of the non-linearities so if you give the solver the flexibility that if required in some increment that cutback attempts are higher such that uh, the solver reduces the minimum time increment lower lower until it gets a convergence then you increase your chance to get the convergence in the overall job but as i said the default number of cutback attempts are five you can increase the maximum number of uh, cutbacks by going to step module and then others and then general solution control and then edit and selecting your particular step in our case step one then going to time incrementation tab and then going to more tab the second tab and uh, then adjust the value of ia let's see how it looks in abacus so here we are in job module let's go to step module and then we will find this other tab go to general solution control edit and we will edit our step one and in that there is a warning of course these are for advanced users so continue and here in this uh, second tab of uh, time incrementation if we go to this uh, more or the second tab then we will find this ia and it says that the maximum number of cutbacks are five so just uh, uh, we cannot edit it right away we have to go to specify tick that and after that it is possible to edit the field value so let's make it to be say 15 and by that we are allowing abacus to use more cutbacks and at the same time giving it more possibility to converge to a solution so so far we have tried to tackle this particular error message of too many attempts we have literally eliminated these two errors that they will almost never happen by reducing the minimum time increment and also by increasing the maximum number of increments but for this error of course we made an attempt to eliminate by increasing the number of cutbacks but it is not certain that eventually you will get a convergence of your job because there is a root cause and some of the root causes are instability in hardening that's what happened in our particular case and then too large applied strain you have to check the material definition that they, this is uh, not impractical you have to look for uh, uh, consistency in the property of this material check the boundary condition 
and sometimes damping might help to overcome this sort of non-linearity. So I will briefly show you what I mean by uh, instability in hardening and uh, how you can overcome sometimes including some sort of damping. So in this particular job, the reason for aborting this is of course time increment required is less than minimum specified but again the time increment if we look in monitor when the job aborted the time increment is 1e to the power minus 15 which is really really low that means although it's showing that uh, it aborted due to time increment is uh, less than uh, 1e to the power minus 15 but practically this error occurred because I had instability in hardening. So in here, the, in the material definition, in the plastic hardening data, so we have defined that with increasing plastic strain, the yield stress decreases. So by that, there is an instability in your material data. So there is some inconsistency in your material property definition. So that was the root cause for getting our job aborted. One can also make an attempt on uh, the step and in here automatic stabilization if you include some sort of uh, damping factor you can accept the default by doing so you can increase your chances to overcome some of the errors that might occur be careful when you are using this sort of damping factors now let's talk a bit about the warning message you can get a, some common warning message are the strain increment has exceeded 50 times the strain to cause the first yield at 256 points so don't think about the points this point number could vary i also for this uh, job got similar exiting 50 times the strain to cause first yield but in this case it was 998 points uh, many a times this is not uh, critical you can also have the eigenvalues are uh, negative in several points these are most of the time are not critical but yet the cost for those is of course this excessive or unrealistic loading, uh, inconsistent value of material properties, insufficient mesh uh, refinement and uh, unstable deformation such as uh, buckling. So in our case, it uh, happened because we had inconsistent value of material properties that I showed you earlier, the hardening is not appropriate. Finally, let's talk about a special error message, error element related to element property. And then it says the element has been identified in the element set and there is a name for that element set uh, the name starts with err error element and follows so sometimes you might get that message and you might wonder that where you can find that error elements to find those elements you have to go to the job results and uh, when you are in result tab in the result tab for the job hill 48 2d you will see we have element set and note set so if you have any sort of error element set so they will be appearing here then you can just uh, double click on the name of that error element and it will highlight those particular elements in this case i have highlighted all the elements but uh, if you have the error element they will highlight only those element having the error that's all for today's video Good luck with your simulation.